Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to cover a few more annotations in the TestNG testing framework. So in the previous tutorial, you would have seen uh, that I haven't covered the before class, after class, uh, before group, after group, and before suite, after suite uh, annotations. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll cover these and we'll, uh, you know, understand what uh, are uh, basically what is the importance of these annotations and how you can implement these annotations, right? So these uh, annotations are not different as compared to the others, for example, before test and after test. As you can see, the name suggests, um, you know, before group and after group will be, uh, if you annotate any of your method with the before group or after group. So what will happen is the list of groups that you specify with this particular before group annotation, this, uh, the method that you will annotate uh, with, uh, you know, before group will be executed always before the group of test cases that you specify. And similarly for the after group, it will always execute after the group of, you know, uh, after the group of test cases that you have annotated. Uh, with the particular annotation. So any method that are annotated with a before group and after group will be executed um, before and after the groups that you specify with these annotations. Similarly, for before class and after class, right? So any uh, test case that we are creating is a class file and before class uh, similar to before group. So before group will be specific to the groups that you specify and before class will be specific to the current class. Okay. So for example, the annotated method will run before first test method in the current class uh, the, in the current class that is invoked. Okay. So for example, this is one class, right? Gr groups demo test or login test. And if I use before class, say I create another, you know, uh, let me uh, open, I won't save this. Let me open this groups demo and I'll show you groups and um, class demo here. So I'll simply copy one of the method and I'll say that this is before um, class, okay, method, right? And run, I'm just, uh, printing some text there so I'll say run this before class okay and here if I annotate this method as before class okay let me import this um, org.testng annotation before class annotation now what will happen is this method before class will always run before this particular, you know, in this class, if I'm trying to run this, uh, before this test gets executed, the first test of this class gets executed, this before class method will get executed prior to that. So if I just simply run it, uh, so just run as a test ng test, save it and run it. Uh, we'll see that run this before class line will get printed prior to running before any of the test, right? Similarly, after class, okay? So after class will always run. So if I want to run the method after the class, after, you know, all the test cases have been executed in this particular class, then I'll use the annotation after class okay so i can say after class and import the annotation from org.test ng annotations okay if i run it again then you'll see that before and after class both of these will be executed so you can see uh, first prior to executing all of these test cases there is one you know execution that is happening for the method before class and then all the test cases got executed, then the next method, which runs after the class got executed and printed this line run this after class, right? So this is important in case, say, for example, you uh, are developing your script or there is a particular test case, which 
you know requires very unique information or unique setup to be done prior to running all the test cases that you have specified in that particular class file say for example these are the test cases four test cases and these four test cases depend on very specific type of data creation okay so for example users should be registered with uh, you know uh, certain attributes or certain you know uh, type of data then which is very unique to these four test cases then you can use this before class for this you know specific class and have those data set up you know steps in this particular class itself and you know once you execute this particular test case then in that case it will always call these before class uh, method and then run these test cases and then clean up the data okay so in the after class you can clean up that particular data to you know make sure that the data doesn't exist anymore okay so that's the advantage of before class and after class now when it comes to before uh, groups and after groups right so advantage is similar uh, say for example there you have a regression suite or you have a bvt test suite um, test cases that you have categorized as groups okay so let me simply copy this method and explain you before group and after group uh, as well let me format it okay so i'll say before group okay and i'll annotate this with before groups and simply import before groups and say for example i want to execute this method always whenever i am trying to run the regression test cases okay so what i'll do is i'll simply use the annotation before group and specify the value for the group so i can say value as regression so i want to in uh, invoke regression test cases and before invoking any of the regression test cases i want to invoke this particular you know method prior to that okay before group so what i'll say is i'll simply change this line here so i'll say uh, run this method before regression okay let me format it and similarly after group okay and after groups i'll provide the value same as regression and then run this method method after regression so this is you know like just the dummy code i'm just printing a, a single line to explain you the concept of you know all these annotations and how you will be using it so in the actual scenario we'll be writing you know the actual steps to launch the browser do certain steps to do the data setup etc and that's how you will be you know utilizing these annotations in your actual test cases so here in in these you know lines you will be having your actual uh, piece of code that will do that particular uh, setup or tear down process so now what will happen with these before group and after you know group let me change it to after group after groups uh, annotation so if i want to execute the regression you know uh, test cases now so what will happen is it will uh, you know launch the regression test cases and prior to launching the regression test cases it will always run before groups method which is annotated with before group and after the test cases have been run in the regression test suite it will run the after groups uh, method okay so if i just right click and click on run as uh, sorry let me change it to groups i haven't changed it to group this time so we have to go to run as and go to run configuration and i want to run the groups regression okay so i'll simply go and check the regression apply and click on run and now the method that is before the regression uh, group right so there is a before group annotation with the value of regression which is the value of the groups uh, that we have specified for the test cases right so the method got executed first then all the test cases that are annotated with the uh, you know 
group as regression got executed and then after that after groups method got executed and run this method after regression got printed okay so that's basically you know um, the advantage of before class and after class before groups and after groups now it depends basically you know where you will be using you know, these annotations where uh, you have to basically do the analysis for example um, where you will be using before class and after class in uh, in very specific scenarios say your test case requires a particular data setup you'll use before class and after class in there um, or uh, you will you can use the group or uh, annotations uh, before groups and after groups in cases where you have the group of your test cases which are uh, you know dependent on particular steps then you use those and the third one that is remaining is basically before suite and after suite now before suite if you annotate any method with before suite annotation what this will do is it will run that particular method before all the tests are executed in that particular suite Similarly, after suite will be uh, after suite annotated method will be executed or run after all the test cases in that particular test suite have been run. Now we'll look into this implementation of before suite and after suite in the next tutorial. For this tutorial, um, we have covered before class, after class, and before groups and after groups. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it. Thank you very much for watching.